the 2023 WNBA season has finally arrived. And I am going through every single team and letting you know who's on the roster and some of the things you may want to check out for during the regular season. All right, and in this video, we're going to talk about the Washington Mystics. And here are the players. We have Ariel Atkins, a 5'8 guard. Shakira Austin, a 6'5 forward slash center. Natasha Cloud, a 5'9 guard. Elena Deladon, a 6'5 forward. Tiana Hawkins, a six foot three forward, Maisha Hines Allen, a six foot one forward, Lee Ming, a six foot guard, Brittany Sykes, a five foot nine guard, Christy Tolliver, a five foot seven guard, Shatori Walker Kimbrough, a five foot nine guard, and Amanda Zowie B, a six foot five center. So the Washington Mystics is coached by Eric Tebow the son of general manager, Mike Tebow, and they have assembled a roster of 11 players. So the WNBA is, is, allows teams to have um, up to 12 players. However, due to um, salary cap, they just aren't able to have 12 players on the roster. Um, and when it comes down to themes for this season, and I think for the Washington Mystics, uh, the biggest theme is that Elena Deladon is finally fully healthy. So Elena Deladon feels great and she is raring to go for this season. And one of the things that we know is that, you know, when Elena Deladon is healthy, she is one of the best players in the league. And it's likely that we will expect her to have an amazing season and get the Washington Mystics in a place where they are able to truly make a run for the championship this season. Um, even though there is a uh, two quote unquote super teams in um, the Las Vegas Aces and the uh, New York Liberty, this Washington Mystics team, so many people are sleeping on this team to to make it far in the playoffs. I think if if this is a healthy team, they're gonna make it far. And I I actually think that um, if um, the Washington Mystics were able to face the New York Liberty in the playoffs, I think they beat New York for sure. Even though, you know, the New York Liberty have, you know, uh, great players. Um, one thing that Washington has is defense for days. This team is going to be a very defensive minded team that can also score, score a lot of points. You have, um, you have Brittany Sykes, who is an amazing defender in the WNBA. You have Natasha Cloud also. Um, and then you have, you know, down low, you have, you know, um, uh, Shakira Austin and, um, and Elena Deladon. So I, I think, I think this team is going to be very good on defense. And if you put the guards of the New York Liberty against the guards of the Washington Mystics, I think Washington shuts them down. I, I, I think when it comes to, um, you know, Natasha Cloud guarding Courtney Vandersloot or somebody like that, like I think I think she's going to completely, completely shut them down. Um, same thing with Brittany Sykes. I think, I think um, you know, when it comes to the playoffs, um, Eric Tebow will put up some defensive schemes that will get Washington to the championship game. Um I don't think Washington will actually win the championship this season um, because because even with uh, their great defense, I I think that um, Las Vegas still has the edge over them. I think they have the edge over New York, but not the edge over Las Vegas. So yeah, those are my thoughts for the season. Other things to think about is just health when it comes to the, to the Washington Mystics. Um, right now we have Maisha Hines Allen, who is currently out. Um, she is injured. And so, yeah, she's injured. She has a knee injury. Um, and so if Washington starts to have a lot of injuries, I think that gives that that's their downfall. Another thing to just think about when it comes to Washington Mystics is what exact role does Christy Tolliver play? Christy Tolliver is a great player. I historically, she's been a great player. Um, however, I, I didn't think she was going to make this roster. 
Um, and I think she made it because she can just flat out shoot. Chrissy Tolliver is not a defender. Uh, she, but she can shoot. And so I think there may come situations where, um, because some of, uh, the Washington Mystics guards are so defensive minded or, you know, um, pass first, uh, that they may want to put, there may be some times where they want to put in Christy Tolliver just to just, just to shoot, you know, no, no, no defense required, just shoot. Uh, so I'm just really interested to see how, how she just plays on this team. All right, so that is the video um, of the Washington Mystics. What do you think? Do you all think that they will make it to uh, to the championship? Uh, what do you think their record will be? My, my assumption is that we'll have um, uh, the Las Vegas Aces at number one, um, New York Liberty number two, and uh, Washington Mystics at number three. But let me know. What do you think? What do you think that record is? How far do you think they make it? What do you think about Elena Deladon fully being healthy? Do you think she'll be able to have a healthy season for the rest of the season? Or like, do you think she gets injured or, or something like that? Like, let me know what you think in the comments below. Um, again, thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, please like it. Please watch all the other videos in this um, series. I I'm doing all 12 teams, so watch all 12. And um, like this video. Leave a comment below. It really helps the YouTube algorithm. Um, I'm just really trying to, to consistently do women's basketball content. So if this is stuff that you all actually like, let me know. Um, if you all want to see other stuff, let me know. Again, I'm trying to create a uh, community of women's basketball fans of, of all levels, um, college, professional, international. Um, maybe I'll get into high school. I would like to, um, coverage, uh, let me know what you want me to do. Uh, because yeah, I, I love this stuff. I love women's basketball and I really want to make sure that like women's basketball gets the coverage it deserves from a variety of sources. Right. And so, so you don't have to just only hear about the WNBA or women's college basketball from like ESPN or whatever. Like I want to make sure that like a uh, small creators are also doing their part to really create this awesome ecosystem of women's basketball fans. All right. Let me know what you think. Uh, thanks so much for watching guys. And until next time. Bye.